All right, I'm going to show you briefly how to get into easel and do your 3D carving for the X carve. First and foremost, you're going to go to this webpage, inventables.com, and then you're going to search at the top where it says easel. Click that, it'll take you to the splash page, and we're going to explore easel. It's going to ask you to sign in through inventables. Inventables just asks you to create an account. You can hit the I'm new customer, use your school ID, but I am a returning one, so I will be using mine. Once you are logged in, it'll pull up your projects that you have as well as your basic account, and we are going to actually create a new project for this instance, and I'm going to build just a simple sign. On the left-hand side, gives you every inch on a grid. On the right-hand side, shows you a visual model of what you're building. Upper right hand corner, material dimensions, and then also bit size dimensionings. We'll deal with those later. So first I'm going to start with just a simple sign and I want to choose a font that's going to be relatively easy to see and read and I'm going to go like such. So I'm going to choose this as my sign. Notice how it gives you a general preview on the side over here already. You can move it fit it to where you want. I can also expand out since I don't see everything on this board. And you can notice as well that I have a 0 through 11 and a half, the 12 inch piece is right here. That is due to the fact our machine is set up to be only an 11 by 11 and 11 by 11. We are actually going to be cutting on a 30 by 30. Once that's complete, my drawing is a lot larger over here. My parts of my pieces can be changed then accordingly. I can also expand. I can modify this how I wish. Also, as I click on here, this is my cut depth. I can go as little as 0.02 to all the way through. And if you notice how dark this font gets, represents how much of it is going to cut away. So for this particular instance, I'm only going to go a quarter inch roughly. And on my preview that you see over here, you'll see it actually give a visualization then of what that cutoff is. Now I'm going to go in here. We're going to use a 60 degree tapered bit for our example and our previews because we're just going to do simple sign making and voila. Might be a little deep, so I could probably back that up just a notch, give it a second, re-render, and there we are. Good and easy. So, sign making. This is all it is. On the left hand side, do what you want to draw. So you can take, you can add some square shapes to it. It'll cut it out for you if you wish. You can modify those depths. So I want to make that one a little bit larger and I'm going to click on my circle here and I'm going to have the circles. Now, material dimensions, as I mentioned earlier. The piece of wood that we're going to be using. So I'm going to stay with the 12 inch X but let's only go with a four inch Y. Our Z represents how deep or how thick our metal or our wood is. On my left hand side, because I modified my design here, it also modifies where the dots go. So I gotta make sure I fit 